I just got back from uh, seeing. God damn it! Just got back from seeing motherfucking Godzilla. Okay, and what did I think of it? Oh, thank you, thank you, Gareth Edwards. Thank you. Shit. Thank you, man. This is. I'm just gonna go ahead and give my rating, alright? There's probably gonna be spoilers. There's gonna be spoilers. Yeah, a 9 out of 10. A 10 out of 10. Like, it just, it just doesn't, you know what I mean? It just, it doesn't, it doesn't have that, that, that thing that makes it a 10 out of 10. It's, it's, it, it's a nine. It's a nine out of ten film. I mean, the rendering of the, the special effects in this film is amazing. I mean, the, the the devastation, the way it's portrayed, the atmosphere, um, the score is on point for sure. I love I love the sound design. The sound design and the score, when when they're working, they are working. I mean, the cast is great. Brian Heisenberg was great. I wish there was a little a little bit more of them, but um I, I thought I thought the cast was solid. It's so weird that Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch are in this movie. But anyway man, man, man. You know, one thing I really loved walking away from this film is that they treated these monsters like animals, you know, like giant animals, you know? Like if you had a dog and it grew to be the size of a of Godzilla and was running around, it's not evil. It's not bad. It's, it's it's not even a monster. I mean, it's just it's just a giant fucking animal. I mean, if it goes running through a city, the buildings are gonna get crumbled and people are gonna be killed. But I mean, it's not evil. Uh, you know, and no. I mean, it's almost like Godzilla and the other monsters. It's like they're they're like like F5 tornadoes. F5 tornadoes are not good or bad. They're just a force of nature. And that's exactly what Godzilla and these monsters are in this film. They're just forces of nature. And oh my god, when you see Godzilla for the first time, I didn't get goosebumps, but I had like this giant smile on my face. See, when Kim Watanabe uh when when he says uh I, you know, when he says Godzilla's name, I was like, Ugh. fuck, that was cool. Um, I just, I, I loved it. I don't think it was a 10 out of 10 because 10 out of 10s are, you know, 10 out of 10, that's, I mean, that's a hell of a rating. The movie is way more epic than I thought it was going to be, thank God. Um, the, thank God the trailers didn't didn't spoil the movie at all, you know, unlike, you know, with The Amazing Spider-Man 2, just, I, I man, I loved, I, there was this one sequence where, like, Godzilla had collapsed, and that a Aaron Taylor Johnson dude, whatever, he's standing in the street, and, like, Godzilla and him, like, like, look at each other, look at each other for a moment before the, the, the smoke, like, engulfs Godzilla's head, that part, gave me chills. This is the best Godzilla film that has ever been made, 100%. For the love of God, if you have not seen this film, plan on seeing it, because it's got my stamp of fucking approval. It is astoundingly good. Whoa. The, um, the, way, the way it's directed, the cinematography, the camera angles, I mean, it's so on point. Jesus. Um, the, the CGI is used very very uniquely, I must say. I love the the detail in this movie. Like, there was a sequence where there was, like, a flood washing into Hawaii or something like that, and the streets were flooding, and just, just the attention to detail was just spot on, man. And I just, I love the way that they made Godzilla look... Woo -woo! And then when Godzilla, when he did his atomic breath thing, you know, when the fucking, when the spikes light up blue, and just... Amazing! It's like they turned Godzilla into like a bizarre superhero of sorts by the time the film is said and done. Like, that was interesting, but very Godzilla-ish, you know? Is Godzilla the savior? Is he the bad guy? You know? Um, 
Fuck, man. I, I was feeling so bad when those monsters were beating up on Godzilla. I was like, leave him alone. What the fuck? Come on, Godzilla. The Gojira. Do something. I loved it. And I gotta get to sleep soon because I got work in the morning. So, would you think... I didn't see it in 3D. Um... So I can't tell you what it's like in 3D, but I don't think it's like exponentially better in 3D, so I don't think it really matters. But And um, I love this movie. God, I'm so mad that the Interstellar trailer 2 wasn't with my showing. Anyways, let me know your thoughts about the movie down below. I gotta get out of here because I got work in the morning. Peace.